All right, we're in Wilmington, Delaware. Tell you a little about the pregame graphing here in a moment, show you what we got. Get you an at-bat play-by-play here soon as well. As we have the Wilmington Blue Rocks playing here at home against the Jersey Shore Blue Claws. Bring a little bit more here in a moment. Drew Mendoza to the plate here. We are in the bottom of the fourth inning. He takes the first pitch fastball for a strike. A little bit of a change up there, 81 miles per hour. As we're seeing, Andrew Painter on the mound, top prospect for the Philadelphia Phillies. Kicks and fires, high fastball. 96 miles an hour on that one, it's one and one. Mendoza on the season hitting 215 for the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Five home runs, 42 RBIs. Painter kicks and fires, one and one. This one's skied foul and out of play. So the count goes to one and two. One out and nobody on. As leadoff batter in the inning struck out, that was Onyx Vega. Painter winds and delivers. Curveball strike three. And Mendoza goes down on strikes for out number two. All right, so we're back in the hotel here, our last night in Atlantic City. Fortunately, I'm ready to get the hell out of New Jersey at this point. New Jersey, the, the best thing about New Jersey is Wawa. The worst thing about New Jersey is everything else. I, I don't even know where to begin. I mean, there's just so ridiculously much at this point. It's just, I don't even, I don't even have the words at this point. But anyways, the recap of all the graphing from down in Wilmington, Delaware. Got down into Delaware here for a game tonight. And pregame sucked donkeys. I'll show you exactly what I got pregame. I got, uh, let's see here. Give me a moment here to find where I put these. Oh, yeah, tricks. I moved them up into here. Got two cards signed by Jeremy Edens. I think that's how it's pronounced. Edens, Widens, something like that. Those two cards right there, that dude. And that's all I got pregame. Everybody else, literally, like half the team said, oh, I'll sign afterward. I'll sign afterward. Oh, yeah, I'll sign after. So we went down after the game. Jordy Barley, Yasel Antuna both skipped right past us. Jeremy De La Rosa, the big one I was hoping to get there, other than Eden's pregame. He said, oh, I'll sign after. Walked right by us. And I even yelled after him, you said you'd sign after, and he just kept on walking. Manager Mario Lisson did not sign. Ricardo Mendez, I didn't even see him after the game. Drew Mendoza signed one out of four cards, and that was it. Yikes. Um, didn't even see Mitchell Parker at all to be able to ask him. Drew Millis completely ignored us on the way in. Holden Powell, I think, is still injured, so we didn't get him at all. It was a disaster inside. That is the. I mean, I've seen a lot of bad parts for graphing on this trip so far. This was by far the worst one. No way to slide stuff under the netting very easily. Had an opening near the tunnels where the players come out onto the field, but if you weren't right up on that tunnel, forget about it. So uh, we went outside. We tried... Um, <coughs> Tried afterward with, uh, what's it called, Jersey Shore. And out there, we had some decent success. So I'm going to go through alphabetical order, what I was able to get. And for me, the biggest one, this is a guy that I was hoping to be able to get from the start of it, Mick Abel. Signed the only card I had of him. That is a high number. That's card number 214 there in the Heritage Miner set. So very happy to be able to add that one in. Also was able to get another one of their top 30 prospects in Ben Brown on one of my 4x6 Customs. Brad Bergeson signed everything I had. I'll just show you one of those. There's a buttload that he signed right there. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to go ahead and pull these all off the board. I will tell you right now, he will sign a full board for you if you have it. So very happy to be able to get him. He was cool about it and everything. Um, yeah, super, uh, super happy to get him. Uh, moving on after that, a one per signer, Luis Garcia. I had three of this card signed by Dio Arias. And uh, Garcia signed only the one of it. But still, I'm hoping to get... Um, Cal Stevenson on it here in a couple days. I know we're going to see him at one of the AAA teams. I forget which, but yeah, hopefully we'll be able to knock out a full trio right there on that League Leaders card. Um, let's see here. Moving right along, I was able to get uh, Casey Martin on three copies of the Heritage Miners card. We'll show you one right there. One goes to me. One is for my friend John in Oklahoma. I have one up for trade there as well. 
Pat Listash. So uh, you saw in my previous video, or maybe it was in this video, or maybe it'll be coming up in this video. I forget exactly what. I haven't. I'm gonna have to look into it before. But Pat Listash. I talked to him and said, "Hey, yeah, we're gonna be seeing you in Jersey Shore." He's like, "All right, cool. Hey, that's great." So I'm after the game, and uh, he signed one card for me. I said, "Yeah, see, I told you we'd see you out here." He's like, "Yeah, you sure did." It's like, dude, seriously? I mean, the, just such an attitude there. But got him on a card there at least. So yay for that. Uh, Andrew Painter had the start tonight. Went six scoreless innings. Very good start for him. He signed one out of the two cards that I had of him. Also got Dominic Pipkin on a custom card. And I mean, this one, as soon as I saw the photo, I'm like, oh, I've got to do one with that. So signed that one for me. Or I guess kind of initialed it more like, but whatever. Uh, Andrew Schultz, he did two out of the cards that I had there. One regular, one chrome. Fun times there. Um, is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. We didn't see, uh, Ethan Wilson had his headphones and just completely ignored us on the way out, but I didn't see Christian Hernandez and I probably wouldn't have been able to spot him anyway out of uniform, but yeah, very good night with Jersey Shore outside the ballpark there. We're going to be seeing them again in a couple of weeks so I can hopefully then knock out Hernandez and, uh, Ethan Wilson, a couple more cards on a few of these other guys. So there you go. Start out pretty bad, but finally got good as the night went on. So very happy to add those ones in, and we'll go ahead and give you a bit of a national recap here as well. We've got one day still left on the national here, Sunday yet to come. But I realized I forgot to show off some of the other ones that I got uh, earlier this week, or that Aaron got, actually. So we'll go ahead and pull those up here in a second. So I know I showed off the Bernie Perrant, and these first few here... Um, yeah, Jaworski, I definitely showed uh, Roy White. I don't remember if I... Oh, yeah, I think I showed Roy White. Not sure if I did, but if I didn't, there it is. Aaron was able to get that one. He was his, uh, He did all of our Wednesday stuff. Goes this way. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I showed Greg Luzinski because we got a video of him signing. Uh, Mickey Morandini, that's another one that Aaron was able to get right there. Let's see here. So I know we got video of Bill Berge, and so he signed that one right there. Got Eagles linebacking great Bill Berge here signing as well. No, I'm not. I wish. I wish. Thank you. I wish. Thank you. I wish. Hey, hey. How are you? See, what's going on? Things good? Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. The aforementioned Pat Listache on that one. How's it going, Pat? Good, good. 1992 American League Rookie of the Year winner, Pat Listache here. You said uh, gold? Uh, gold on this one, yes, if you don't mind. You're with uh, Jersey Shore coaching now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually going to see them a couple times in the next couple weeks here. I'm okay. visiting a whole bunch of games. Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Why am I blanking on his first name? The Nelson guy here. What was his first name? Kyle? Was it Kyle? Might have been Kyle. I don't remember now. He was an offensive lineman, though, but Nelson there from the Giants. Carl Nelson. Carl Nelson. He's writing my file name on the back there. How's it going, Mr. Nelson? Great. How are you? Very good. Very good. good. Well, got those two there as well. All right, and blue down here, right? Yeah, right down in the uh, maybe in the grass there, right on here? the turf there. Okay. Yeah, that'll look good, I think. Yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. Tommy Green, very nice signature there on that one. He said that photo was from Colorado, actually, where that was taken. How's it going, Tommy? Doing good, man. Good, good. 1991, May of 91, no hitter against the Expos. Mr. Oh, Tommy yeah. Green signed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really cool right oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. 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 Any particular spot you want this one on? Yeah, let me uh, I'll move the cards out of the way here. I'll just go. Right on the dirt there, basically. The dirt. Good. Yep. You know where that field was at? 
Um, is that San Diego? Nope. Which one? Colorado. Colorado, okay. Thank you very much. Uh, then a few uh, from the next day, which would have been, what, Friday. Got Aaron got all these ones, by the way. There's Al Bumbry on this one. I know I've not shown this one off yet, so Al Bumbry right there. He tried to take that photo. <laughs> really? <laughs> he, he I know you like, mentioned that's that he... an awesome photo. Wow. And then he was like, hey, let me see it. <laughs> wow. Nice. We've got uh, Mike Rosier, Heisman Trophy winner. Uh, let's see here. We also have two here from Bill Madlock. Let's go with the... Uh, Vertical one first there with the Pirates. And this one I'm hoping, hoping to send off to get signed by John Matlack as well. He's the other guy in the photo, Matlock and Matlack. I believe they were the MVPs of like the 75 All-Star game or something like that together. So, yeah, cool to add those in. And so now today we've got a video of each of the signers that uh, we'll go ahead and show those and show off what I was able to get as I got to handle all of the autograph lines today. So the first sign that we had up was Mike Nelms, who was a kick returner, mostly also played on defense for the Washington Redskins back in the 1980s. Let's go ahead and get these out. So, as we said, we'll show you Mike Nelms signing right now. We've got Mike Nelms here, former Washington Redskins signing. How's it going, Mike? Good. Doing good. Doing good. Uh, just anywhere like right or wrong, it'll be great. I tend to keep it pretty simple on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll work. Thank you very much. If it's anywhere right in the in that area down there, it's good. Pretty. Thank you very much, Mike. And of course, there is the photo of him. I also showed you. You got to see the cards that were in there as well. Um, after the Nelms line, we went over and got uh, John Montefusco, who was a pitcher for the Giants and the Yankees. Uh -huh. How's hey, it going, how John? Doing? Got John, the Count of Montefusco, here how with you us. Doing? What's your name? My name's Drew. Hi, Drew. All right. Did he tell you I'm the only one that's given up home runs to every parent? Yes, yes. Did he tell, how many times did he tell you that? Yeah. You're going to keep telling me every time we mention your name, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Dale's got, what, three or four off of me. Does he really? Oh, yeah, I let him have them. <laughs> I, I let him. I, New Jersey I, I hung slider. I was very good to the Barrett's. I'll tell you that right now. you got to help him catch up to Dad. Uh, um, Got the cards there as well. What color should I put on here? Blue as well on those, please. Blue? Yes. Is the Scott bus picking you up after this job? Yeah. I'm hitchhiking. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much. Uh, you're welcome. Thanks for coming by. Yes. And right there, you get to see the photo of Montefusco and the cards, of course, that you saw him signing in there are for Aaron. We also got, uh, next up was Milt Thompson, who, of course, was a outfielder for the Cardinals and the Phillies throughout the uh, late 80s, early 90s. All right, we've got former Phillies, uh, yes, right in there, right in that area. And former Phillies and Cardinals outfielder Milt Thompson here with us at the Nationals, signing right now. How are you doing today? How's it going, Milt? Good, good, good. good. Remember seeing you play with the Cardinals quite a bit. Oh yeah. Yep. How you doing? Thank you very much. You're very well. Thank you. So and right there is the 11 by 14 there on Bill Thompson. And last one, the one Clevelander that I was able to get uh, of, on this day, and I think possibly the only player with any Cleveland connections at all throughout this whole thing was Mark Mosley. Got former kicker Mark Mosley here from the Redskins and the Cleveland Browns. How's it going, Mark? Good, how you doing? Very good, very good. I haven't broke your camera yet? Nope, totally good. 
Thank you. Got the Thank photo you. there as well. Have a good day. Got the photo there as mine as well. Oh, this yep. Too. If you don't mind, it's like right in the dark area. There's probably more the best. Yeah. It's funny. I was with the Redskins for 14 years. I was Cleveland seven games, and I get as many Cleveland <laughs> pictures as. The Browns have a huge following. What can I say? They do. Yeah. We accomplished a lot, though, during those seven games I was there. Oh, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. And you'll see right there, there's a photo. Nice gold signature right there. Put his NFL MVP here on there as well. So, good stuff there. Got a few cards signed by him as well. And that's where we're at so far. I need to do a quick tallying up, but I think I'm closing in close to 150 autographs here this week. And I'll pass that tomorrow with whoever the uh, signers are that we get to go for. Um, actually, I can tell you right now, it's Don Money. Um, Stephen Baker, Ron Hansen, Ron Hansen and uh, let's see, who was this down here? That was um, Archamsky. There we go. Archamsky's going to be the last one. So, yeah, we'll uh, show uh, what we get out of those guys. I'm, I'll get a video of the two that I get, and we'll see what Aaron's able to get on the other two. And have one final dig through at the National. Um, while I'm thinking about it, let's see. Yeah, we're only about 10 minutes into this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save the rest of what I get from the National for a video tomorrow because I've got several purchases. I definitely want to show off a whole bunch of other stuff there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hopefully be making a few more purchases tomorrow. So, yeah, just uh, hold tight, and we'll show all that to you tomorrow once we get into Binghamton, New York. That's where we're going to be driving after we get all of the uh, last couple of signers there. Knock those out, and we'll be on the road. So, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you from New York.